So now we're going to explain a borderline cervical screening result. Hello, Miss Jolie, is it? Yes, I understand you had your questions about your smear test result. Yeah, I had my test done um, and it's come back as something and I've been asked to come and talk to someone about it. Okay, so do you remember what it said to you when they wrote to you? Um, I think it said borderline, but I don't really know what that means. Okay. And have you ever had a smear test before, or is this your first one? No, I've had two or three now, just routine ones I mm -hmm. should be doing, and, um, and they've always come back as well. They've always come back normal, have they? And what do you understand about the smear test and what we're looking for? I thought that it was just a, a test that everyone has, and it's a test, it's a test for cancer, isn't it, like that? So women are too weak, too weak. Yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of people think that, you know, that this test is for cancer, but perhaps I can explain to you a bit more about the test, is that alright? No, that's good, yeah. Do you have any worries about the test coming back as borderline? Well, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm always going to be worried if someone asks me to come and see a doctor about a test that's borderline. Yeah. I'd much rather it be clear. Yeah, sure. So what's going through your mind about what's happening? Well, is it, is it cancer is what I'm thinking. Okay, okay. I can reassure you it's not cancer, but perhaps we'll just talk about the test in a bit more so you understand why I'm saying that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good, yeah. So the smear test is actually not looking for cancer. Um, and I know all this thing in the news that, you know, everyone has to get their smear test um, to check whether they've got cancer or not. But actually what it's looking for are what we call precancerous changes. So these are changes that can happen on your, the neck of your womb where we take the smear test from. That if you have these changes, you may go on in the future to have cancer, but you may not. Right. Um, and we've got sort of a grading level of changes that people can have. So, as you've had before, you've had completely normal smears, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And then the next step up is sometimes it's called, we call it a borderline smear. Right. Then we have sort of three other changes, sort of a different changes that we can get on the smear test right. that may indicate that you're more likely to get cancer. And then you've got cancer over here. Right, okay. But the smear test wouldn't pick up that cancer. We'd have to actually take a sample right. to pick that up. Um, so you're sort of right down here, right, yeah. and cancer's right over That's here. Good. Yeah. So all it really means for yourself and for us is that we just have to recheck your smear in six months. Right. Because lots of ladies will have borderline smear tests, we do it again in six months, and it comes back entirely normal. Oh, right, so it sort of fixes itself. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Right. And even if they come back with higher changes that we can sometimes get, often they can get back you know, come back as normal as well when we repeat them. Right, okay. So really it's just a safety check for you to make sure we're not missing anything. Right. Um, so what we would do is repeat your smear test in six months, um, and then if that still says borderline, we send you off for a different test that can give us a bit more information. Right. But if it comes back at normal, that's all we have to do. Right, okay, so it's borderline at the moment, which mm -hmm. isn't even one of these stages. Yeah. And um, um, it's, it's, I haven't got cancer according no. to the test, yeah. and um, I'm just going to have it done again in six months. And if yeah. I'm back to normal, I'm yeah. back to normal. Exactly. Right, okay. Um, and if it still says borderline, then we'd send you for different tests just to make sure. But even so, that's still not a sign of cancer. Right. It's okay. just us really screening for it to make sure that you're not at risk of going on to have cancer in the future. And would that be at the hospital? Or? Uh, yes, if we send you up for another test, we'll send you to the hospital. Yeah. Is that okay? No, yeah, that's good. I'm much more